Hello everyone and welcome back to the One Man Renegade Podcast YouTube channel. I'm your host, the Honorable Greg B. Uh, we have more baseball cards. Um, hopefully you're enjoying the baseball cards because I enjoy opening them. And opening them up on camera is kind of fun, so kind of show people what I got. So today uh, I got this Jam Packs um, box from jampacks.net. You can see it right there. It is the old school Jam Pack. Uh, so there's a few different versions they have. Um... They have the old school one, they have the newer one, and they have one that's kind of a mix of both. Uh, so, yeah, go check it out. Um, first time opening it, so props to Jam Packs. Hopefully this is cool. Hopefully I like it. It's a monthly subscription box. Um, it's got some old school stuff. So the purpose of this one was, so I was kind of, as I was trying to, as I was thinking about getting back into the hobby, or, um, I was thinking to myself, I definitely want to just check out some of the stuff that I missed while I wasn't uh, collecting anymore. And I kind of stopped collecting about 2009. So um, I've gone back and gotten a bunch of stuff from 2010 to today, which you'll be seeing on the channel at some point down the line. Uh, lots, of, um, lots of stuff to go through. So uh, videos for years. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I don't know about years, but definitely have plenty of stuff to do videos on. Uh, but then I was like, well, should I go back and do some old stuff? Like, I definitely love opening old wax packs from, like, the 80s and 90s and whatever. But at the same time, it's like, I've opened so much of that stuff over the years that I really want to go back and, like, get boxes and boxes of it. Because a lot of it, as you may know, isn't worth much. And a lot of it I've seen before. I've seen pretty much all of it. Um, and I have a ton of it. So I really need to add more on top of it. But then I was like, well, I do kind of want to... You know, there are cards that I never got from some of those packs back in the day. Those boxes and sets and whatever. So it's like, I didn't want to completely abandon the old, old, old school packs and stuff. But at the same time, it's like, did I really want to get a ton of it? No, not really. So this kind of is in between. So it's like, all right, I'm going to get some old stuff out of here that I can definitely open up. But I'm not going to be saddled with tons and tons of boxes of old junk wax, which... I already have a whole ton of anyways to throw on top of that because I don't know what I'm going to do with it necessarily, but um, to have just, uh, you know, a few nostalgic, for nostalgic purposes to open up and maybe grab a card or two that I never had back in the day seems pretty cool. So here we go. Let's open this bad boy up and see what I got. All right. A little literature here. Um, just kind of says, welcome to the family. Um, February 2020. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff. Cool. It's free pack February included a f is a free pack of cards. Um, so we gotta get all this stuff. So a couple of Derek rookie, Derek Jeter rookies we can look for. Um, so some good stuff. And then there's obviously the, um, one Hall of Famer rookie card and one Hall of Famer certified autograph card too. So that's cool. And that is in this nice little cool gold uh, thing, which we'll save for the end. Uh, but what do we got? So we all, well, we also got this little uh, sleeve of um, cards. So we'll look through that. Top loaders always always necessary uh, in sleeves. I never use enough of these. Um, I thought I had a whole bunch. I, I I found a whole bunch of sleeves after I ordered some because I couldn't find them, and then I found them. Couldn't find any top loaders though, but I did order some top loaders recently, so I think I'm all set for now. But um, doesn't hurt to have more, as always. Uh, peanuts, obviously. We got the uh, 90 score. Uh, was this 92 Leaf Series One? Um, 92 Upper uh, Same Club Series One. We got a cello pack of 88 Donruss. What else we got in here? We got a 92 Series 1 of Pinnacle, 92 Fleer Ultra, uh, what, year, what is this, 91 Series 2 Le Series two Leaf, we got a uh, Series 2 Upper Deck, but we got a little sticker on it, so it was $1.19 back when whatever Sports Lim Unlimited is, I don't even know, but that's, that's, that's cool. Um, Got 91 upper deck, 92 upper deck, 90 upper deck. We got, um, is this 89 
Donruss, I think. Right? I could be wrong. Doesn't say the urine. 87 Fleer, that's that's always cool. Uh, 91 um, Tops, so that's a good one. Uh, we got 95 uh, Score. And a cello pack of 88 Tops. Uh, we got a 89 Tops. 87 Tops. 86 Tops. 90 Bowman. And rounding things out is a 88 Fleer. So there you go. Lots of stuff to open up. Um, and then, of course, the, the um, special gold package. Um, and we'll do that, too. Uh, let's, little, let's go in chronological order. I think that's the best way to do it. So let's give me a second to uh, sort this out. So that's those are 88. That's 87. That's 88. That's 89, I believe. That's 89. 87. 86, so I'll probably be starting with that one, I think. A 90, 95, 93, 93, 92, 92. Uh, what was this? 91, 90. Uh, 91, 91, 90. Where would my 90 pile go? Oh, there it is. Um, 92, 92. And 91, 92. Alright, so starting off with 86. Now, 86, I definitely remember opening 86 back in the day, or having 86. I don't necessarily remember opening it necessarily back in the day, but I definitely remember having some 86 tops cards, and this gum is kind of sticky. But there's not a ton of good rookies in this. Uh, all the rookies ended up in the um, in the traded set, so I don't know. But, you know, you got your stars and your Hall of Famers, so. Um, Eric Davis, I believe that's his second year card. Uh, Ryan Sandberg, that's, that's a solid Hall of Famer right there. Uh, and there we go. That's, I mean, that's that's about it. Ryan Sandberg was oh, about all you're getting out of that one of anything good. Alright, let's do 87 tops. Obviously looking for Barry Bonds. Um, I mean, I guess Raphael Palmero. There's the McGuire first card in a A's uniform on tops. Um, there's Maddox is in the updated set. Um, well, Clark um, gets his, you know, well, Paul Molitor, he's a Hall of Famer. That's a good one. Um, Sid Bream, Raphael Belliard, Charlie Huff. Uh, what else? Corey Snyder, Gold Cup card. Uh, Alright, Paul Molitor, nothing, nothing, nothing else too great out of there. Um, let's go 87 clear. Again, looking for the Bonds. Uh, McGuire, no, McGuire's not in this. He was in the update set. Hunter Dawson, he's a Hall of Famer. Mookie Wilson. <laughs> Andy Van Slyke. All right, Don Slot. Uh, all right, I mean, we got another Hall of Famer out of that, though. Uh, all right, let's move on to 88. Let's do 88. Fleer. Looking for Edgar Martinez. And um, Tom Glavin, I believe he's in this. Right now, John Crook, Walt Weiss. He's got a lot. Galaraga, excuse me. Can't talk. Jimmy Key. All right, so nothing great out of that. Go with 88. Um, Donruss, cello pack. And I'm looking for Glavin. Roberto Alomar is in this set. If I can open this thing up. Definitely remember opening plenty of um, 88. Or, again, half.
having plenty of 88 donors back in the day. Well, I wasn't, I don't really remember if I opened it, but I definitely had some. Curdy Bucket, he's a Hall of Famer. Uh, uh, me, rest in peace too. Bob Walk, always a fun time, fun fun to have a pitcher named Walk. Uh, Bobby Thinkpan, obviously he set the record um, back in the day of saves before it was broken by Francisco. Oh, Cal Ripken, there's a good one, Hall of Famer. Um, K-Rod did it, and then I think he still has a record, K-Rod. Fred Lynn. I mean, he's not a Hall of Famer, but, you know, he was a big deal for the Red Sox back in the day. And then, of course, got traded off the Angels and ended up on the Orioles, I guess. I don't know. I remember that. Uh, Jose Mesa. Joe Table, as I, we used to call him. Joking around. Uh, Bob Boone. Brie Du Surhoff. Tony Gwynn. Hall of Famer. And also, rest in peace. Jeez. Um, man, Trillo. Oh, that's, I mean, it's good Hall of Famers out of there. We didn't get any of the rookies, but, uh, you know, Tony Gwynn. Cal Ripken, Curry Bucket, they're all solid. Uh, let's move on to 88 Tops. Uh, again, looking for Glavin. Is he the only one in this one? Ken Kim and Eddie, I guess, too. Right. Oh. So some gum falls out. Oh. Gum. All right. Uh, that guy. <laughs> Gary Templeton, I remember him. Ed Romero. Bo Jackson, he's a, he's a star. Not a Hall of Fame or anything. His, his uh, career got sidelined by his Ozzie Gein. Is that his? No, that's not his rookie. He's an 86. Um, Bo Jackson's career basically Don Sutton. He's a Hall of Famer. Uh, Andres Galarraga again. Dave Cohn. Uh, Candy Maldonado. Um, what was I saying? Bo Jackson. Yeah, his career got sidelined with injuries from football. Uh, Raphael Belliard again. Roger Clemens. He's not a Hall of Famer, but well. You know the story with Roger Clemens, um, suspected PED user, and uh, it's getting close to getting in the Hall of Fame, but not quite there. All right, let's move on to 89. We'll do 89 tops now. Unfortunately for 89 tops, it had the, um, along with 89 score, they didn't have Griffey in the main set. They didn't, they had him in the traded set, so kind of less, you know, they were less, um, desired back in the day than the other sets that did have um, uh, Rob Dibble there, Robin Yount, he's a Hall of Famer. Um, Brian Harper, not to be confused with other Harpers. Uh, Ellis Burks, I remember I was a big fan of him back in the day. Uh, Steve Shields, not the goalie for the for uh, hockey. Jose Rijo, RJ Reynolds, Dave Gallagher, a gold cup card. Doug DeCenza, Dave Parker, and Tommy Bartlett. So, Robin Young out of that. He's a Hall of Famer. And then we go to 89 Donruss, looking for the Griffey, certainly. And, I mean, there's other Hall of Famers, you know, rookies, too. Uh, you know, in 89. Edgar Martinez, second year card. He's a Hall of Famer, though. Um, Tony Armas, Tracy Devin White. So nothing too great out there, but another Hall of Famer. All right, let's move on to... I have these out of order. Uh, 90. 1990, we'll go upper deck. Um, Sosa, Thomas. Those are what we're looking for. Now, see, I don't know if these are the high series or the low series. Yeah, high series. So that's usually not a... Well, I see, I don't know. I don't know. The Maddox, Hall of Famer. There's a good one. Uh, Charlie Huff. I think, is Charlie Huff a Hall of Famer? I can't think if he is or not. I want to say yes, but I feel like I just... I think he is because he's old. He always looked old to me. Uh, John Farrell. Look at him laughing like a, like a moron. <laughs> uh, what else? Hubie Brooks. Mike Roch Rockfeld. I don't. You know, it's funny. You look through some of these stuff, and it's like, uh, well, here's here's a guy that played for. You know, I'm a Red Sox fan, so here's a guy that played for the Red Sox. I don't know. Uh, Julio Machado, rookie card, and Chet Lemon round things out. So nothing. I mean, but again, we got a Hall of Famer. All right, ninety score. Um, 
been looking for that Frank Thomas. I don't know that Sosa's in this set. I know Frank Thomas is. Uh, Mitch Weber. Felix, blah, blah, blah. Uh, ben McDonald. He was a big deal back in the, that day. Um, he never really panned out, though. <clears throat> David Wells. Wally Joyner. Kevin Brown. Gary Carter. He's a Hall of Famer. Scott Cooper, rookie card. I remember Scott Cooper. He, uh, and a Ryan Sandberg 89 highlight card. I mean, he's a Hall of Famer. It's a highlight card, though. Scott Cooper. He ran Wade Boggs out of town. Or did he? Wait. I'm, or did we... Or did Boggs run him out of town? I don't know. I forget what happened. He... There was... Now, sure, now I can't remember. He kind of was like the new up-and-coming third baseman, but Boggs was obviously still there. But no, I think... We traded Cooper? I don't remember. It was very, very, very long ago. All right, a uh, 90s Bowman. Okay, I'm looking for that Sosa and uh, Thomas and, and Larry Walker is in this as well. New, new, new to be a Hall of Famer this year. And uh, Bernie Williams, I think, is in this too. Dave Winfield, he's a Hall of Famer. Carlos Baerga. I remember him on the Red Sox. Kevin Mitchell. Tom Gordon. Uh, if you're not familiar with St Stephen King work, girl who loved Tom Gordon. Um, of course, then he, ru he ruined it by then going to the Yankees, which I don't want to give away the plot of the book or anything. I don't even remember it. I just know it existed. Basically, this girl was lost in the woods, but had a radio and listened to Red Sox games and really liked Tom Gordon. And, uh, yeah. They would play the Red the Yankees, and Del Strawberry was like the bad guy in the in the book, from what I remember. Again, I didn't read the whole thing; I just knew knew like a synopsis of it. All right, so let's move on to ninety one. Got Leaf Series two. I don't know that there's anybody in this set of note outside of you know stars and Hall of Famers. Uh, Mike Huff, Leaf was a gold gold rookie. Wherever Mike Huff is. Anderson, Andre Dawson, another Hall of Famer. Bob Tewksbury. Belliard, that's like the fourth Belliard I think we got. Al Newman, Steve Avery, Ken Griffey Sr., but interestingly enough on the Marlins, which is kind of interesting, uh, when they were playing together. Um, Orlando Merced, Wally Backman, Kevin Brown again, Luis Rivera... Nothing too much out of that, but again, we did get a Hall of Famer at 91 Upper Deck. Um, is this... Get the Nolan Ryan. Um, this might be the Low Series. It doesn't say High Series on it, so... Don't know if that means anything specific to... Um, anyone in particular, like Chipper Jones or Mucina. Uh, so we got a Baseball Heroes, Nolan Ryan. That's kind of cool, I guess. Um, ooh, Astros, uh, sticker. Not exactly the, and a bunch of Astro players. Whoa, all right. Not that they were cheating back in that day. Chris Sabo with his stupid looking glasses. Jesse Barfield, uh, Matt Williams, Dave West, um, Bobby Thigpen again. Nothing really great out of that. Uh, we got the Nolan Ryan card. All right, so what do we got now? 92, um, bunch of 92. All right, let's go with Leaf. This is a Series 1. Don't know if there's much in here. I'm not sure. Uh, Russ Swan. Bill Duran gold card. Um, Frank Viola. I remember him on the Red Sox. And then it's Johnson, Dave Henderson. I remember on the Red Sox too, but obviously it was when he was on the um, Diamond or the it's Diamondbacks. What? What is wrong with me? Uh, A's. Mark Grace, not a Hall of Famer, but he was a star back in the day. McGuire, again, another guy that's not a Hall of Famer. Probably will never get in. But a steroid, but he also, but he, I mean, clearly in '98, he was huge. He was a huge deal, breaking uh, Maris's record along with Sosa. And hitting 70 home runs, kind of a big deal. All right, 92 uh, Fleer Ultra. Um, some Tony Gwynn cards, apparently. I don't know that there's any rookies of any note or anything in here, but um, 
Here we go. Ron Karkovike. Karko Weiss, is that how you say it? Jack Clark, I remember him on the Red Sox. I remember, watched him hit a home run one time. These cards are kind of sticking together here. I didn't realize in 92, these cards are started sticking together. I know in like 93, with that 93 upper deck, we're going to have to... Yeah, the Albert Bell, Mike Boddicker, Scott Erickson, Ron Darling. Yeah, these are sticking together pretty good. Darren Dalton. Tom Browning, <laughs> another Rafael Belliard. <laughs> wow. Uh, Juan Gonzalez, he had some good years, but uh, kind of, I don't know, he kind of got roped into the steroid stuff, I guess, too, because he never really was considered much for Hall of Fame. But he won a, didn't he win two MVPs? And then John Olerud with his helmet in the field. Remember him on the Red Sox as well. All right, 92 uh, upper deck. We're looking for that Ted Williams. Get that Ted Williams and the bench and Morgan too. Uh, so here we go. Again, I don't think there's really a, any rookies of note in this set. At least not that I can remember. Danny Tartable, he was good on Seinfeld. Um, oh no, I guess Manny's in the set, right? Tony Gwynn, Hall of Famer. Willie Randolph, uh, Ozzy Smith, Hall of Famer. Uh, let's see who else. Dave Parker again. Jimmy Key again. Danny Tartable again. How many Danny Tartables are there? Oh, so this must be the high series because you got them on the Yankees and the Royals. There you go. Uh, Vince Coleman. Um, Chris George. Oh, boy. Um, and that guy. All right. Move on to Pinnacle 92. Might be Manny in this? I don't know. Curry Bucket, Hall of Famer, Randy Rest in Peace, Howard Johnson, Terry Pelton, Edgar Martinez, Hall of Famer, Dave Henderson, Steve Finley, Gary Sheffield, not a Hall of Famer, but he could get in um, one of these days. Derek Bell, Andy Ashby, Jeff Carter. Oh, there you go. Manny Ramirez. That's a good one. Um, Skeeter Barnes, interesting name. Andre Dawson, again. Jose Consego, again, not a Hall of Famer, but big star back in the day. He is the guy for the... When it when it comes to steroids, he's the guy. Uh, Chris Sable and Julio Franco ended up being like 12 years older than he said he was. Uh, maybe not 12 years older, but he's definitely older than he originally said he was. Um, we got 92 um, Series 1 Stadium Club. These are definitely going to stick together. I can already feel it. All right, sticking together. Oh, I hate that sound. Uh, I got Mark Gardner, Jay Buhner, Walt Terry, Edgar Martinez, Hall of Famer, Scott Erickson, Lee Smith, Hall of Famer, uh, Pat Kelly, not a Hall of Famer. Um, Edgar Martinez, Hall of Famer, like I said. Um, yeah, I, I just wonder, like, what they were thinking when they, like, made these cards back in the day. Like, well, in 20 years, in 30 years, when people open these, uh, they're gonna all stick together. Uh, no one really have note there. I guess they just didn't know. They didn't know. Yeah, because up until, like, the early 2000s, all right, sorry I got interrupted, but uh, yeah, nothing really great in the rest of that pack other than the Lee Smith and Edgar Martinez. All right, <clears throat> next up we go to, let's do the 95 first, because just in case, we'll save the 93s, just in case there's any gears in there. I don't know that there's anyone in 95 score that's going to be any, of any note. Uh, John Jaha, Ken Caminiti, Mark Lemke, Mark uh Gabiska, whatever. Uh, Jacob Brumfeld, whoever that guy is. Well, another Wally Joiner. We got some rookies. Jorge for something. John Mabry, he was okay, I guess. Um, Jason Peterson, and then we got this Fred McGriff kind of goldish highlights card. Not a Hall of Famer, but he. 
didn't really get much consideration. He's another one of those guys that, like, he had pretty good numbers, but weren't as good as they probably could have been if he was doing a bunch of steroids like a bunch of guys were. Um, so he kind of, his numbers didn't quite match up, so he didn't end up not really um, getting consideration. All right, 93 tops. Got Gary Gaetti, uh, Gene Larkin, obviously we're looking, we're looking for a Jeter. Uh, that guy, Derek May, Tony Gwynn, Hall of Famer, Juan Gonzalez, gold. Again, not a Hall of Famer, but uh, had some good numbers. Um, Gary Olson, Greg Harris, this guy could pitch lefty and righty. I don't think he ever pitched lefty that I can remember for the Red Sox anyways. He might have for other teams. I know he had some weird glove where you can use it both lefty and righty. All right, then we got 93 Upper Deck Series 2. Again, looking for the Jeter. Um, these cards are, you know what? They're not sticking together. Uh, we got Eckersley Hall of Famer, Barry Bonds. Not a Hall of Famer, but again, could be one of these days. Um, Fernandez Valley's win it. Dave Hernandez, uh, Hernandez again. Uh, Joe Hesketh. Why is that? Oh. Okay. Card looked weird. Um, Willie Banks, Monty Ferris, Darren Holmes, John Farrell again. Not laughing like an idiot this time. Checklist for the girl, Galala, Galala, Galarraga. Um, Tiger checklist with Travis Fryman and Carlos Quintana. I remember him, Carlos Quintana. Uh, not to be confused with the boxer, Carlos Quintana. Um, and I just put those all in the wrong pile. Cool. All right. That's it for the packs. We do have this little team bag of some stars. Um, if I can open it, we'll go through them. Got Eddie Murray on the top here. 86 clear. Um, 86, 86 tops. Uh, Steve Carlton... Um, what year is that? 81? 81. Uh, Evan Rodriguez. Andre Dawson, 82. Tom Glavin. Ricky Henderson. Daryl Strawberry. Andy Van Slyke and Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, Jose Canseco. Robin Yount. Mark McGuire. And Carlton Fisk. So, not a bad little pack of stars. So now we got to the biggie. Um, we have the, there's a Hall of Fame rookie card and then a Hall of Fame autograph. So let's see what we got. All right, looks like we got a Frank Thomas score. And a Dennis Eckersley out of 99 from um, 2019 Clearly Authentic. That's a cool card. Um, Eckersley, obviously Hall of Famer. Clearly Authentic. And then uh, Frank Thomas. So there we go. It's cool. Jam, jampacks.net. Check them out. I'll have it all linked down below. Um, thanks for watching. As always, uh, Check out all my other videos, check out the blog, check out the podcast, subscribe down below, hit the bell, hit the subscribe, hit the share, share it with your friends, your friends, your friends, your enemies, your enemies, friends, and your friends, enemies, and everyone in between, and come back later, I'll have more baseball cards, I'll have other stuff, um, got, got, got tons of good plans for lots of videos, um, so come back, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this. Let me know. Comments down below and all that stuff. And I just knocked over everything. <laughs> all right. See you later.